Greetings everyone, a warm welcome one and all. Thank you for joining me again. My name is Nick and we're on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive as you, uh, well, depending on where you are in the world, as you look at this amazing story go past. We're looking at one of the biggies, one of the classics, it's Streets of Rage, published by Sega in 1991. Now it's a 2D horizontal scroller, which I'm sure you already knew, uh, beat em up. You're in a New York type city which has been overrun by an evil syndicate led by Mr X and choosing any one of three characters, Axel Stone, Blaze Fielding or Adam Hunter, you must free the city from this tyranny. Now generally it's easier in two player this but I'm the only player here so we'll see how far I can get. Let's have a look at the options, I'm tempted to put it on easy but I think I'll keep it on normal. Yeah so, but you do get a few credits credits here. If you lose all your lives you can continue. Not sure how far we'll get. Now the game also come out on the Master System, the Game Gear and Steam. It is out on iOS. I do have it on my iPad but I'm a little bit scared to use it because um, you know I need a controller I think. So Axel, Blaze or Adam. There's all their strengths there. We'll take Axel out because he's got a cool name. Now there's a special move which is different from each um, character. A bit like um, Golden Axe I suppose in the special moves. So here I go. Um, I think if I press uh, A button, a uh, police car will cut it up and fire a bazooka. So that's my special weapon. So here I go. As you can see it's just me on my own. And the best thing about this game, as, lo as well as the playability of course, it's blooming awesome, is the amazing music and sound. There's a couple of sequels uh, which we'll probably come to. We've already covered them on the PlayStation 3 on the uh, Mega Drive uh, Hits Pack, whatever it is called. Let's see how it plays on the direct version. Let's go. Let's beat up these gingerhead dudes. Take that, you. So there's punching, there's kicking, there's this, like a jump punch as well by combination of the buttons. But just try and steer these guys into your fists. Now, as 2D punch em up fighters go, this one is blooming awesome. I like it even more than Golden Axe, which I'm a big fan of as well. But this, this is so, so playable. It moves very fast. And if you're looking for arcade action, you can't go wrong with this and the subsequent sequels. I think there's a fourth one as well that was being made. You can pick up weapons as you go along if you find them. And by smashing these uh, boos here, yep, you can get extra health or whatever's hidden inside awesome game so we know this already so now it's just a question on how far am i gonna get i won't be completing it there's a broken bottle take that you take that you now the problem with one player because player two hasn't turned up again as you already know is that the uh, enemy will sometimes surround you it's not so bad this as golden axe so if you keep moving about you should be able to avoid it ah, do your own r's now in the top left you can see i've got three lives left and that red bit is my, uh, oh look, a nice pipe, that'll help. Your pipe, sir. Yes, that uh, red bar represents my health left there. But on each life, you get one special move available, and which I'm probably gonna use uh, when the baddies come up, or well, I might use it early. Oh dear, punch the nose. If you get knocked down three times, I've done that too early, but here's my special move. Boom. I don't think you can use it later on in the game when you're on a roof. Come on baby, light my fire. Each character has their own variation of that. Good. Other characters are Blaze Fielding, no, not Noel Fielding, and Adam Hunter. But they're a group of young'uns in their early 20s, and they've decided to rescue the whole of New York. Unfortunately, I'm controlling them and no one else. Ah! Right, smash these boots, they might be something useful. All right, three of the dudes. I think the most you can be fighting at the same time is about four. Some great throws there at close quarters. My energy bar's not looking great. Hopefully, in that phone booth there, whatever it is, is, uh, do you remember phone booths? Is a bit of help. There's an apple there. If I can grab hold of that, that'll be helpful. Yay! Also, a bit of strength, but not much. So, the maximum you can fight is four. It does get a bit meaty when you get your mid level bosses or end of level bosses, but check out this music. Fantastic! Disco if you need to. It's best to swipe your weapon before they get too close. Right, I think that's a baseball bat, is it? I do look rather cool holding that. Woof! Home run or a six. Cricket or baseball. Right, now. Oh no, I thought it was going to be end of level boss, but it's some woman in questionable clothing. And she's dead. Uh, not sure what lessons we learned there. And there's her sister, who's also going to get a pounding. Boof, you, that's her. There's the pine pot there. If you're in the pine pot, then say hello. What's going on in the pine pot? It looks like a casino or it's a cafe. Uh, a pot of pines. That's an interesting coffee. Now, two other girls of the night with their whips. 
I don't think they should be allowed out on their own, but let's do some flying kicking. Will I get off level one? I'm quite confident here. Press, press two up, start, player two. Right. End of level boss, or is that the end of level? Oh, ominous music. Stand by. Uh, here we go. Some dude has turned up who's about 10 foot tall and he's got a big boomerang or, or pointy sharp stick. I think I might need my special skills with him. His energy bar's below mine, so keep an eye on his, keep an eye on mine. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, fantastico music. Ugh. Come on, Nick. Defeat this guy. I just want to see what the music is on level two. We won't be completing it, that is for sure. Special move. Come in, police force. Launch missile. Fire. Right, this will burn your jeans. Right, hopefully that's the end of him. Please don't. He's got up again. Man. Right, that's it. Knee to the groin. Good. So he got bazooka that didn't kill him. Knee to the groin killed him. Stone dead. Sega, 1991 and round one is clear. Hooray for me. Excellent. If you completed this on your own, on hard, then let me know. This isn't hard, this is medium, but it isn't easy. Tough luck, New York. Round two, start. Casual music now. The scene looks a bit big for the character. It looks like he's like a, like a, a pint-sized midget. I love this game. I don't play this enough. But I've got to try it out on my phone, but you know, touch screen on a on a flat bit of glass. I I'm a worried. Definitely needs a control of this. It's hard enough on that. Right, money makes the world go round. Now this level, instead of phone booths to smash, there'll be barrels. Not the barrels from Alien Storms. There's no alien snails hiding underneath there. We've just got better food and weapons under it. That's it. Right, there's uh, some sort of knife, I think. Stab. Stab. I think I've dropped it. Right? Stab, stab, stab. No, I've dropped it. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it was health there. I don't know what it was. There's a cloning facility. In these fighting games, there's only ever about four or five different sort of uh, basic enemies. I don't know. Is that a turtle? Well, he's... Yeah, take that, Raphael. Right. I'm really enjoying this. Hmm, I might use one of my credits after that, but I'm still on my first life, it says there. Times three. Nice weather coming down. Go, go, go. Go, go, you go. Right, there's a barrel. There's two barrels. There's one. That's a bottle. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, that's taking him out. Oh, no, I've lost my weapon. Three gingers again. Unless they dye their hair orange. That's them. Right, health. That'll do. It's good to break open a, a barrel in the street and find an apple in there. I wouldn't throw it in the bin. I'd think that's totally safe to eat. Just like this person, Axel Stone, with his, uh, his rather butch name. You know, what else could have happened? If you had a name like Axel Stone, you're not going to become an accountant, are you? You're going to become some sort of street fighter or rock star. Right, Elf's not looking great. Take that, girly. Um, walk into the bowl. There she goes. What was that? Yeah, there's a lot of these. There's a lot of these thugs. There's a lot of these thugs. They coordinate their hair with their knee pads and uh, top marks of that. If you coordinate your hair with your knee pads, comment below. Are you a member of an evil crime syndicate, or are these people just giving you a bad name? And not everyone with hair the same colour as their knee pads is out to destroy the world. That was a good move. Right. Oh, so another turtle's turned up. That's them gone. This that woman with her whip. Um, I think she's probably going to rethink this and decide that she maybe should have come out with a machine gun instead, but that little whip's good. Lots of graffiti on the wall. Don't know what it says, but I imagine none of it is good. Is there a town that hasn't got graffiti? Let me know. Whoa. Funky town, maybe. Dun dun dun, won't you take me to a funky town? Oh, it's another baddie. Right, that pipe's good. The pipes of peace. It's not the pipes of peace, it's the pipes of death, which, um... Paul McCartney did not sing about. Take that. Apple for me. That's it. Go. These look like karate experts. He's not an expert in, um, I don't know, tactics anyway. He's gone. Moves quicker than Golden Axe, this one. So you be like your fantasy or your, your, your street fighting in modern day times. Axel Stone. Take that. Who leaves all these pipes about? Oh no. Right, strength not like my life's gone up to four there from completing the level, but it's, it's looking quite weak. I don't want to use my special. Take that. There's a knife there. Oops, and now we've got a juggler guy. I think that's me dead. Right, might as well use one in a minute then. 
knee to the face. I think we might have to use a special on this fella, this juggler guy. He looks a bit tricky. Not only is he fighting, he's juggling fiery things. Mind you though, maybe I can take him with this jump. We'll keep going, we'll keep going. I, I'm, yeah, I'm playing the game, right? But I'm resisting the urge to get up and have a dance. But if I do that, Axel's going to get get killed. Oh, man, this, this guy's annoying me now. Might have to do it. Here we go. Here comes my backup buddy. It's Robocop. Take that, creep. Unlucky juggler. I'm not sure. That, that fire seemed to mainly get me. But anyway, I must be immune... I've got triple strength sun tail lotion on. And I was hoping that would be the end of the stage, but it isn't. That's just a halfway point, I think. Oh, man. Let's just go undimension these fellas. Punch to the face. Right. No cars coming along. Stab. Stab. Friendly stabbing. Oh, and is this guy again? I thought I'd taken him out. Right, he's annoying me this time. I mean, not only has he got time to get up again, he, he, can, he can pick up his juggling things. Where's he getting them from? He's not... Is that him dead? We just leave him behind, I think. Another roast chicken. Look, he's still on the scene. I mean, who comes to a fight juggling? Or well, maybe his hands are on fire. It's a bit hard to tell. Oh, another another girl with her big red boots on. Three of the smeggers. Come on, then. Get off the stage. Get off the stage. It's going to be, it's going to be an end level boss I, I run out of uh, powers with. I do like that flying knee smack. Right, I've got him against the wall. Surely, don't get up. He's got up again. Curses. Right, don't get up. He's got up again. Right, one more. One more. Surely. That's him gone, I think. Is that the end of the stage? No, we've got an end of level boss now because the music's gone all sorts of serious. It's a very tall fella and his little orange haired mate with matching tea bags. Yes! Good start, good start. I think he's got two claws there. Oh yeah, and he stretches with the claws. Don't know what his name is. I wouldn't like to run into him. Ugh. Oh, we can move around quite fast as well. He's got skills, right? I think it's time for a special. You're special, sir. Kaboom! I don't think that's going to be enough to kill him, is it? It might get the orange-haired fella. The other chap is still alive. He's still alive. His name's Clive. He's going to take a dive. Oh, uh, quarter five. I'm rapping. Right, let's cut that out. Let's just beat him. Um, available for a contract, Will I Am. Right. Will I Echo's like. There's a sort of like a weapon there I could possibly pick up. Too late. I'm going through lives quickly. I need to use all my specials before this bloke kills me to shreds here. Look, I'm down to one now. I'm, I'm losing everything here. The game's losing here. Right, special number two. That might, might as well just stay there and just bazooka the hell out of this fella. Ooh, kaboom! Surely. That's it. He flashes and he disappears like a false ghost like Luke Skywalker, Ben Kenobi and uh, maybe someone else. Round two clear. So I've made a bit of a meal of that, but two stages done, so by my own loan standards, this review gameplay type things a success. You probably already heard of this game before you clicked on the video, but generally it's how you would have got on on your first or second go. I have played this game before, believe it or not. And would you, is it worth tracking down? Well, yes, it is worth tracking down, but not if it's going to cost you 200 bucks or something. But you could probably find this game quite easily, I would have thought. Either emulation or the real thing, and the real thing is always a little bit better. Because it's the real thing. Right, baseball, take that hit of us. This has been emulated, by the way, I must say that. I couldn't afford to buy all the games. The channel the channel would have only run for about three months, then it would have been over if that was the case. Can't do it. Right, it's raining, raining in my heart. Take that, you. Boof. Oh, man. Right, stage three. I think we'll do stage three and then call it a day. Um, my lives might force me to call it a day anyway, but we're by the seaside and it does look a bit choppy today. Is that person going to walk into the sea? Same enemies at the moment, but music is different. Good funky track here. Another, another girl from the stage before. It might be the same one, but uh, she hasn't learned anything. Maybe try a different occupation girl. Lollipop lady, uh, banker, or baker. That's a good, honest, honest uh, profession. Instead of fighting people, offer them free danishes and chocolate eclairs. Oh, look at that. Right, I'm dead. I think we'll do a continue, I think. 
Continue. Yes. Right, let's just find my name in continue. Yeah, we've got three continues left. So that's very, very generous indeed. So with those continues, I think you could probably get through the whole game. Put it on easy. I think you'd be doing it. Right, you might even be able to do it on hard on that. So, you know, I'm not the best game player in the world. Uh, I know I keep it a big secret. You'll think I'm brilliant, but um, I'm not. Um, but I think uh, with the continues there, uh, even I could, could have a good chance of getting all the way through. But don't worry, we're not going to go all the way through here. I'll just leave it uh, on this. This is my last credit, and then we'll go. So, what we say about this game then? Music is brilliant. Gameplay is excellent. With two players, it'd be awesome, awesome fun. Good weapons to pick up. No real slowdown. Uh, inventive bosses. It's a good level of difficulty. You've got uh, easy, medium, and difficult. Even the newbie that's rubbish at games will enjoy this. They're not going to get killed straight away. It's well laid out with your, your life. You've got left generous credits. Um, no bad stuff I can say about this game whatsoever. When it came out in 1991, it would have blown absolutely everything out of the water with its arcade quality and sheer style. Deserved all the success it got. Well done, Sega. To, take, to be this good, it takes ages. Not as good as me, though. Yeah, that probably only takes about half an hour. Yeah! Right, away we go. Die, everyone. Right, we've got, we've got a couple of judo. That's a, I like that move. I don't know what was going on there. But anyway, they've, they've got a punch in the nose. It confused them all. Hmm. We, I, we, we, I don't think we're by the beach, are we? We're by a really choppy river. Uh, looks like it's going to be some flooding going on. Right. I do like that girl's scream. What does that say about me? I don't know. Uh, turtle face. I don't, oh, I got thrown there. That lost quite a bit of energy. Whoop. Go. Go. Come on. Where's player two? I suppose you could activate player two right now, and player two wouldn't have to do the first three stages. Uh, they get a nice easy run, wouldn't they? And then he'd do the next three stages, and I take over and do the next three after that, and that's a way to extend your continues. If you had a controller plugged into player two, trying to play the run, I suppose you could do that. Actually, I think I think once you um, player one's out of it and lose their credit, I don't think they can rejoin. Let me know if that is the case or not. I'm just trying to find a special way of cheating. Streets of Rage, classic, classic game. One of the games that you could argue uh, made the success of the Mega Drive. You, if you're buying a Mega Drive, you would want to buy this as one of your first games, if it didn't already come with it. Uh, not many more iconic games than this on this machine. Let's say it also came out in the Master System, I think, afterwards. If you want it in Steam, it's there. I think the two and three, and the most recent four. Um, I'd like to see that girl with a hatch um, uh, costume change colours every now and again. No reason why they couldn't have done that. Maybe a green or a little blue number or white. Maybe they do that on later stages, possibly. Time ticking down in the middle. That stops you from dawdling. But you do get extra time added on depending on how far, far you get through the stage. I think the music's going to change it. Right, this ain't going down now. My strength doesn't look very good on player 3. Now we've got Andre the Giant. Hopefully my men take them out. Kaboom! Take this, you know what's going to happen now. These speedos are on fire. I don't think that's going to be enough, is it? We've got the ur uh, music again, and he's he's ran into me. Right, right, that loss of life. So I've got another special move here with the new life, so be sparing on that one. Energy bar for the enemy. The boss is going down very, very slowly. Look at that. He's the bar under my remember. Let's, let's see how much he loses for a second super. How much is it going to go down? I hopefully half. More than half? Yeah, more than half. So it's a bit. Still quite a lot of work to do. So you can't get a cheap win. Oh, look at that. He lost a lot there. It's funny that the, uh, the two couple of punches to the midriff. Oh, God, I lost a life again. Yeah, th these bosses are heavy duty in the end. That's it. He's gone. So I've gone down to just times one. You do need a strategy there, which I haven't got. But anyway, I've cleared three rounds. On normal, on my own. That's got to be worth something, has it? Boop. Hope you're enjoying the video. Hope you're enjoying it. Click on all the other ones. Um, I don't think you've got time today. Click on all the other ones. Anyway, round four. You might like Mega Drive best. You might like Spectrum. Like, you might like Amiga. You might like everything. You might like some of the older Game Boy Advance stuff, iOS or PlayStation 4. It's all there. Uh, Commodore 64 quite a while ago. Whoop. Oh man, there's four of the fellas, and the turtle man's gone purple now, so they do change colour a little bit. I've got a funny feeling that I haven't got much longing for this world. Da, da. Oh look, the, the girl's turned up, but she's in black this time. That looks much better. 
so it, it does change colour further on through the game. I don't know, <laughs> don't know how he got around that, but thank, thank goodness he didn't fall down that hole. That guy, the orange haircut, doesn't know what's going on. I oh, didn't say it was ginger before, it's not ginger, it's orange, it's bright orange. To get that bright. Ah. Uh. It's like he's at the dentist, which um, I should really go to. Right, three of them left. I've got half an energy bar. Oh man. Stop, see they surrounded me, don't grab me. Oh dear, I don't think it's going to go on much longer this. Oh, well, I don't know though. Yeah, they just keep coming at me in waves and waves. It's like that film Zulu, but without the Zulus in. If you know what I mean. That's a, that's a good description, isn't it? It's like the film Zulu, but without the Zulus in. What, just a quiet day then? Traffic cone! Down the hole it goes. In the hole! I feel like I've fought this person before. 37 seconds. But we will get more time if we get through it. Right, got them all on the same side as me, so that helps. Oh, he's wished on the other side. Take in, cut that out. Right, let's kick this thing. What's in here? Look at that, money! Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. Or gravity. One of those two. A nice apple there underneath that hole. That's where I would hide one. An apple a day keeps all the thugs away. Until there's too many of them. Oh man. Can I knock them down the hole? As long as I don't fall down there. Alright, that's, that'll help. Oh, there's two... There's two oh. I haven't got time to use the weapon when they surround me like this. Look at that, I've got the very narrowest of energy left, and I think that's me dead. Oh, that is me dead. So I think we will leave it there. What an awesome game that is. Awesome, 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 awesome game. I love that game. It's a good game. Uh, if you if you didn't know that, I, I like it. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Streets of Rage on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. Published by Sega, who else, in 1991. Got any comments about this game, similar games, any fighters or anything retro at all, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.